Hello, this is Derek Bertubin in ID Term 1406. And today we're going to talk about how we're going to implement the immersive feature that we spoke about in the pitch. And um, in the pitch, basically, just to give you some background, uh, my game is called Mr. Digit. It's a side-scroller 2D game where the objective is to kill as many ninjas as possible while collecting as many coins as possible to use uh, to purchase extra powers and lives. And um, the type of immersion style would be tactical since it is an action game and the, the uh, game can be pretty quick. And we're going to see a little bit about that. And basically, um, one of the first things that I wanted to implement is a reliable UI. Um, because I don't want to distract the user or take them out of the group, I want to make sure that my controls are very solid. Um, there is a tutorial in the game that I built in for last for uh, last month, and I'm, I'm ju I just want to make sure that the movements uh, are very solid. It's not sluggish, and it feels good, especially where as you get further in the game and the game becomes more complex. The, the user will still be able to navigate and feel as if they can be in that group. And we'll see how that will, maybe I will change, I haven't decided exactly if I'm going to change the speed of the movement along with the speed of the game, which could be easily implemented. We'll have to kind of test and do a trial and error on that. Uh, the second thing is really focusing in on the ability to have two objectives. One, to either get a high, the highest score, and this will be something that will lead into the leaderboard implementation, um, not only beating your own high score, but those of others. That's something that I really want to do, really want to do, because that kind of keeps the apple in front of the horse, to keep them playing. You know, somebody beats your high score, well, you're going to want to play again. And having that reliable UI, and then also the implementation of a store. Since there will be collecting coins, what are you going to do with those coins? Why am I collecting those coins? Well, hopefully you'll collect those coins in order to find your lives, which will then increase your ability to obtain a higher score, different firepower to kill more ninjas. So that should definitely add to the overall uh, player experience. Taking a look, uh, we will see right now the game is, the game is okay. You know, but the controls are a little bit sluggish. Collecting my coins. Oops. Uh, and the animations, I want to fix that up. But overall, oh, I got two of these guys and almost. So we're going to try to improve on what's already there in order to make this game a little bit more addictive. And one thing I wanted to show here is that once the game is over, you see you know, that I'm already counting the high score and storing it locally, but once I put, hook into the leaderboard, I should be able to do that pretty simply. That will probably be the hardest thing. The easiest thing should be just refining the UI and implementing a store view, uh, and then storing locally the values and doing the exchange. And that, that seems to be pretty easy from what I've, from what I've read. Um, other than that is, implementing the leaderboard and adding in orthogonal unit differentiation um, which would I need to find new, more characters or differentiate the characters and um, change how they're killed maybe it's two fireballs instead of one um, it depends uh, I gotta see also what will fit within the game as far as the different powers and extra lives I want to make sure that the play balance is, you know, it's still balanced and it's not uh, too easy or too boring. Um, so that will be through some trial and error. Um, but that's pretty much it. The immersion, the tactical immersion, you know, really just refining that tactical immersion will uh, draw players in, giving them a reason to come back for more. Um, it'll give people who like to be a little bit more strategic with their tactical immersion. Uh, through the, the implementation of a store, through collecting coins, will give them a way to alter their gameplay to make it feel a little bit more their own. Um, so that's pretty much it that I can explain now. And ideally, the UI is going to remain the same. The only thing I would add is a, a button, a, uh, a transparent button with the sprite icon with uh, some opacity, about 50% opacity, that would be, uh, that would have 
the icon of the sprite or the sprite logo of the type of firepower so that it the, the player can tap on that rather than tapping on the screen because that's how the, the taps are set for firing um, so, and they can decide if they want to use their special firepower or their the regular fire uh, because the as I have it now the player will purchase 40 super fireballs or or 10 super fireballs for X amount of coins um, to create kind of a semi economy so that is that um, there's a bit of resource management in here as well um, so that is my uh, immersive environment or element that I'll be implementing in this game and I hope it makes sense see you guys